Welcome to another Fabricate Friday video on my blog and YouTube channel. I'm Suzanne, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. Look at this box that I have just created. Opens like that. So cute. This is the delightful daisy paper. I love it. It's so delightful. <laughs> Anyway, I wanted to share with you how I made this box. So we're gonna require two pieces of cardstock that is eight by eight. We're gonna score at five eighths. Three and five eighths. And five and seven eighths gonna flip it around and do three quarters and five and then we have to do the exact same thing on the other one and because it's square it doesn't matter where you start so five eighths three and five eighths and five and seven eighths flip it around three quarters of an inch and five this is Daffodil Delight. And in this example, I used Wisteria Wonder. So we're going to fold and burnish all the score lines. On both. And then with my scissors, I'm going to take, okay, so there's um, a little lip here and then there's two score lines down. We're gonna take off this rectangle and this, uh, this little square and rectangle. Okay, so this is going to be our lid. So I'm going to cut down the lid and then cut down this rectangle. And then cut this side. So oh, I forgot to fold this one. So these it's going to go like this. So what we're going to have to do is just wedge out on this piece here. Okay, so that's what you should have. We're going to wedge out on the lip too. Okay, so that's what you should have. You have to do exactly the same thing on the other one, except we're gonna cut off the lid. So up on these bits, Take this off. So we're going to take this whole section away. And while I'm at it, I'm just going to wedge. take this away all right so I'm gonna place these two together and I'm just going to take off maybe an inch 
Okay. That's that. Oh my goodness, look how crooked that was. All right, so we're gonna take some fast fuse. You can use glue here too. On this piece and on this piece. I'm going to butt it up, close down. And then I'm just going to take the two and fold it over. So at this point, this could be a fold flat box. You could leave it. Or you can put it together. So the flat pieces go in. My front piece, I want to have the last one go, the last one. So on the back piece, I'm just going to take some fast fuse and just two lines of fast fuse there. Close this up as square as I can get it. And then just on this one little front lip, close that up. Cute. Box made, real quick, right? So for designer series paper, the lid is two and three quarters by four. The front and the back is two and three quarter, no, two by four. And the sides, two and three quarters by two. Now on my lid, I have my three quarter inch punch. I'm just going to punch here in the center, making a little nail hole. I said this before, the three quarter inch punch, I bought that just for this reason. Don't use it for anything else. And then I have um, some uh, Knight of Navy and Whisper White, and I used the Orange Blossom stamp set, um, just a small token of my big appreciation. I'm going to put a little bit of Fast Fuse here. This is Classic Weave Ribbon, um, you know, a couple inches. I'm just going to adhere that to the back, just like that. And then I have some dimensionals. These um, are left over from a paper pumpkin kit I did recently. So I'll use them up, try to trap that ribbon in. I find that the ones that come, the dimensionals that come in the uh, paper pumpkin kit are just a little thicker. So if you wanted to add even more dimension, they're perfect for that. There you go. Super quick, easy fold flat box if you wanted, but it's a big box. It could hold a lot of stuff. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you again soon. Bye. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. On screen are two more videos for inspiration. Click on the maple leaf to visit my website or click on me to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.